Hey everyone, I'm Rhonda. Uh, I have a blog called Mrs. Green, and I'm here today with CraftyHangouts.com. Um, it's wedding week at Crafty Hangouts, which is one of my favorite crafty topics. I love wedding crafts, and I'm really excited about this week's because um, our sponsor this month is DecoArt, and they sent us this fabulous chalky finish paint. I've been dying to play with chalky finish paint. I don't know if you can see that. How well it's come through there. Um, they sent us a few really gorgeous colors and set us loose to do whatever we wanted on a wedding theme. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what I wanted to do because I actually already had the pieces laying around. Um, just get right to the meat of it here. This is my creation. This is a bulletin board. Um, it can either be hung this way, or if you prefer, it can be hung this way. Um, and I made this out of a couple of pieces that I got at the thrift store. Um, it's a couple of separate Goodwill trips that I found the things for this. Um, it started out when I brought it home just as a frame, and the frame was ugly. I got it for $3 at Goodwill, and I brought it home, and I was really excited about it. And everyone was like... Okay, when they, nobody could see the potential in it, it was sort of just oddball, like it was this dark wood, it wasn't very attractive, but it has all this great detailing on the frame, how well we can see this here, all of this great detail, um, all of these little notches down the side, and it was all just getting lost. Um, so I decided that what I wanted to do was give it a refinish and distress it. Um, use all of those little bits along the edge to sort of give it some character instead of just get lost. Um, the inside is, if you flip it around you can see there's still part of the tag here, it's just a plain bulletin board. It's just a cheapy, like one of the aluminum frame bulletin boards. That was also a Goodwill find. Um, all I did with that was I just peeled off the aluminum frame the bulletin board was a little bit large for this frame, so I trimmed it down a little bit. I just took a utility knife and just gave it a good cut with a straight edge. And I decided that I wanted to do something a little more with it than just put the bulletin board in. I like popped it in and I liked it, but it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be yet. So, hi, we have a visitor. Um, so... What I did was I primed the bulletin board, the front of the bulletin board, with a white primer. And then I uh, used Mod Podge to attach a layer of burlap across the surface of it. Um, this is just, I, th I don't know, not even a dollar's worth of burlap. So I think I paid $3 for the frame, $3 for the bulletin board that I tore apart. Say hi. There she is. Um, $3 for... Um, each piece, and then probably a dollar's worth-ish of burlap. And then once I got the burlap on there, I decided it still needed a little something else, so I just mod podged a strip of ribbon. Um, the ribbon is actually some hand-me-down stuff that I inherited from um, my grandmother, so it has sort of a little special touch to it. So it has so the something old element and the something blue element. And now we're going to talk about the paint because the paint is what makes this project. As much as I love the burlap and the lace, the paint is the best part. Now, I decided that I was also going to make some push pins to match, and I found these cool wooden push pins. thought those are really neat, so I figured those would be perfect for this project. So you can see uh, I just put them into a box. Um, so box I was actually going to ship something to, and then I saw the person that I was going to ship it to, and so I just gave it to them, so I had the extra box. So I put all of the pins in in rows. You can see these are just the plain pins. Then first I painted them. This is the same process I used for the frame. I painted with this beautiful blue color. I love, love, love this blue. This is called Escape. So I used this fabulous blue and painted first with a base coat of that, and then after that dried completely, I went back over it again with this um, sort of a soft, minty, green color called Vintage. And I just went right over top 
of all of the blue pins with the green. And then, I don't know if you can see this one I've already done. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera here. I've taken some sandpaper to it and used just a little bit of sandpaper very lightly to expose the blue underneath. And it is so, so, so easy. I'll show you on one here. I want to make sure that I get, you got to think about where things, if you want it to look old, where it naturally would be sort of wearing, which is usually around edges, like any place that gets that kind of exposure where it might get bumped. So you want to go pay special attention to this top edge here. So I'm just going to take and just sort of roll that top edge around a little bit on my sandpaper very lightly. And this is a fine grit sandpaper. You want to make sure that you don't use too much grit sandpaper because um, it's very easy to accidentally take off too much paint. So I've got just a little bit of paint nicked off around the top edge. And then I'm just going to pick one spot around the bottom edge here like on the fat part of the pin and sand that down just a little bit just to expose a little bit on the side and that's it. Um, you can do as much or as little as you want. If you do just a little you get like a very subtle effect. If you do a lot of sanding you get a lot more color popping through and you get a really awesome like you really notice it. And you'll see on the frame I even in some places to make it look really old took it all the way down to the wood. I went right through the blue layer of paint as well just to give it that little extra like it got dug out of the attic and used you know like it's been around forever that's the kind of look I wanted I think it turned out pretty well so there you have it thank you very very much to Deco Art for letting us try this amazing chalky finish paint it is just absolutely amazing to work with. You can get a ton of different looks with it. Um, if you head over to their YouTube channel, they have some great videos that show you all the different techniques that you can use with it. So many, so many fabulous things you can do with it. Just endless possibilities. Um, make sure you stop by craftyhangouts.com and see all the other great wedding crafts that everybody has been up to this week. Um, all kinds of fabulous things going on there. And make sure you check out my blog, mrsgreen.info, and subscribe to my channel while you are here so that you don't miss any future videos because I have a ton of great ideas in store for you guys coming up in the next couple months here. So we will see you soon, and happy crafting.